What's poppin' my honey boo-boos and welcome to my closet transformation video. I know my closet looks nice and cute and kinda aesthetically pleasing, right? 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 Well, it was not always like this, so I'm super excited to share with you guys my tips and tricks on how to make it look cute on a budget. What's poppin' my honey boo-boos? It's your girl Des, and today in this video, I am going to be taking y'all along with me on this little journey of me transforming my closet while on a budget because my closet ain't, ain't even that big. Like, it does not deserve, you know, honestly, like, I can't even do that much. Like, even if I really wanted to, like, that shit's small as heck. Like, what am I even going to do in there? But, like, honestly, I had smaller closets in the past. This is actually the biggest closet I've ever had. So, I actually do have a little bit of room to do a little thing or two. So, that's exactly what I did. And every little thing I did, honestly, made all the difference to my closet. I used to get so frustrated trying to find outfits. And then, like, later on, I would literally be putting away clothes. And I'd be like, oh, my gosh. I could have worn this outfit, but I didn't know I had that shirt because I thought I couldn't find it. And honestly, it just took me longer to get ready. And who wants to take a long time to get ready? And who wants to be stressed out while trying to get ready? Not your girl. I don't think y'all are. So that's why today I thought it would be lit if I recorded this process so that way y'all could get some tips and tricks from it. I did also buy super cute and cheap Amazon things that helped me with this transformation without breaking the bank. But before we do get into it, I do real quick want to take a dab with y'all. Cheers! So first things first, let me just show y'all a little bit of what my closet looked like before. Okay guys, so this is pretty much how my closet is currently looking, alright? So this right here is actually broken, as you guys could tell, like the lid, I accidentally stepped on it trying to get something all the way up there and actually broke. So I think I should actually get rid of this. And then these two are actually good, so I might keep those. And then like uns like just super sloppy, I have all these pants. Like I have so many pants, but I only wear like two pairs because like I'm not trying to like, you know, like if I have to get this one, then I just ruin the whole pile. So I'm going to figure out a better way to hold my jeans. I also have this in my freaking closet that I really think I should take out. I have no idea where it'll fit in my house, but... I feel like it's just taking up a lot of room in my closet. Even these two bends are taking up a lot of room. But again, I have no idea where I would fit those in my house. So those might have to stay. This is actually broken. I have no idea. Somehow I broke one of the um, drawers. And I just have this. Like, literally, I haven't even used this. Because I forget that it's even down there. So I might get rid of that. Behind here, I have, like, equipment that I kind of want to not put there because then this door can't open all the way. I don't know, y'all. Honestly, I think I just need to start taking shit out. Like, what is even all the way up there? And then also, I'm thinking if I should, like, low-key... I honestly, I just... I don't know. I have no idea. But I'm going to just start taking shit out and we'll see what gets popping. Good morning, my honey boo-boos. So... It is a couple days later. I got my Amazon packages. Okay, we laid them. And I'm gonna go ahead and open them up with you. Let you know what I got, why I got it. But first, we gotta hit a bowl. Hi, Dojo. You see what's popping to like being there, man? Huh, mama? All right, you guys. Cheers. Sorry, my bong is like super dirty, but it actually looks dirtier in person. Oh, and my camera's about to die. Love that. Cheers. If I look a little busted and I sound a little groggy, it's because it is 7 o'clock in the morning, okay? First thing I bought were these hangers. It supposedly comes with 60. I think I'm going to actually replace all of the white hangers to be all of these felt hangers because they just look cuter and nicer. They have cuter ones than this, but I'm still kind of basic, so I just went with black. Okay. Just got a little thing. What's that? These. These, I'm really 
really excited for. Sorry, y'all. My camera died. But I do think that that is a sign to take another hit. So cheers. So we got five of these skirt hangers that I'm also going to probably put like other stuff on. But it's so you can hang up like four skirts. Oh, cute. Oh, no, but you got to build it. Oh, no. This is supposed to be a sunglasses holder. But honestly, I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to do this. And there's this. What the fuck is this? Okay, you guys. So, I finally finished building it. It's clear, so I don't even know if you guys could see it that well. But because that took me literally 20 minutes to make, I think I deserve a nice fat bowl. So, cheers. Now, without any further ado, let's go get it poppin' boo. Cool, so now I'm going to move all of these to be right there. And then next to my hat. I was thinking of adding like a perfume thing in here or maybe like a piece of art. I really don't know yet. Maybe a plant. But I really like it with the glasses. Okay guys, so it's the next day and I just did laundry. So I have lots of laundry to put away and I have this lion kitty right here chilling. Getting all my black clothes full of dojo hair gotta love it and then i want to show you guys the progress i've made with my closet i actually did a lot of stuff today so boom all of the stuff that used to be up there that i was using for storage i actually just put it under my bed and it fit perfectly i used to have shoe boxes all along the top of my closet and i thought that was the most organized way to do it and i even was about to start investing in those like plastic shoe boxes but i didn't want to spend like too much money on them because there's some that are literally hundreds of dollars and there's some that's like pretty affordable but when i looked at the reviews for all of the affordable ones they were so terrible it was like basically they regret wasting their money on it so i was like you know what i'm not trying to be breaking the bank here so instead of doing anything literally i thought of so many different organization things on amazon if you look up like shoe organization there is so much stuff but what I ended up doing, I just smoked up, took a little dab, and I got the bright idea that I should just throw away all the shoe boxes and even just put them, up, put them in there very nicely. I'm very grateful that my closet is big enough. I was actually able to do that. I have quite a few shoes, so I was nervous. I was like, girl. Is that going to be possible? Is that going to fit? Is that going to look right? What if I throw away all the shoe boxes and then I regret it? Well, before I actually threw them out in the dumpster, I made sure that I did get them to fit and that I wasn't going to regret it. And then I officially threw them out. But yeah, so that was actually a free 99 transformation. You know, being organized could cost a little bit, but it doesn't have to be expensive. So I'm really glad that that cost me zero dollars to do, but it made such a difference in my closet. And because, you know, I'm a little bit ratchet, a little bit chunty, I want to keep my designer boxes. Also because when I travel or even when I'm moving, I like to put my designer pieces back into those boxes and so basically i want to have it on display looking a little bit cute and before i transformed my closet you guys could see that my jeans were just folded and stacked on top of each other which is definitely an okay way to do it 
but when it comes to trying to find an outfit i remember always thinking like i have no jeans but really i just couldn't find the right jeans and sometimes i didn't have time to want to literally unfold every single pair and you know there's so many hundreds of thousands of ways you can hang up jeans but what i actually ended up going with was just simply folding them in half onto a felt hanger and hanging them at the bottom portion of my closet and it came out looking super cute i even did that with my leggings so now my leggings are hung up like that and pretty much all my bottoms and then what i actually did as well was invest in these skirt hangers is what they call them and they're basically hangers that have hooks and I was able to hang up all my skirts and I was also able to hang up all of my shorts that are more like going out shorts like more like dressier shorts or just ones that I could wear outside you know like part of the matching sets and stuff like that so I also was able to clip actually like I think eight of those um, shorts because they each took up only one clip I'll go ahead and link everything down below what I did for my denim shorts super cheap you guys could probably go to like a hardware store and find these s hooks I think that's what they're called um, they have all kinds of different colors probably not like all kinds of colors but maybe like white black silver um, but I went with matte black I believe super cute and casual and you're able to hook on your denim shorts and i did mine of course from light to dark and i think it came out super cute and i what i also did with the same hooks was i ended up hanging them on the other part of my closet and putting all of my purses so that was super cute too <laughs> like honestly i'm very proud of myself for this transformation because those hooks were only $4.99 y'all like literally five bucks so and it came with 20 so again I'll have that linked down below for y'all and then what else did I do oh yeah I had this broken jewelry holder I saw somebody's um closet tour and they had like something that they bought from Amazon that kind of looked like my broken jewelry holder but it was actually a hat holder and I was like no way I have that it's just broken so I'd never use it but I whipped it out and now it's holding my hat so that was um super handy i think you could probably use like anything like even like a glass or like a vase or some shit like honestly just put it upside down i don't know just an idea and oh yeah and you could put like beads in it and make it look cute Vivek. and then i also got a glasses holder that was kind of a process to make and i'm super happy with the way that that came out i just put that right there next to my hat and i even have a red bin that just has all of my like winter clothes or old merch or just like things that are very like sentimental to me that i don't want to get rid of but i'm also not really gonna wear super often i also just have this like white thing that used to be my tv stand um i don't think i bought the right part i don't think i bought the full part because i don't know it was just so random like i got it from ikea and i thought it was a tv stand but it looks really weird so i ended up putting it in my closet and it worked out because i put all of my joggers and all my sweats folded up right there and then what's on the other side Oh yeah. And then also in my apartment, there's not really a section or a cabinet where I could put like shower towels. So I keep them in my personal closet. So now there's like a nice dedicated cute little section for it. And then right below that, I have only two drawers now. I used to have like four drawers. It's so crazy. Like four like whole units. Now I only have two. Like it's crazy to think that I cut down a lot. I also gave away like two bags of clothes um i gave it to charity or like donations so that's cool uh i was able to get rid of just things that i didn't really want anymore that weren't my style oh i did another diy but first we need to take a dab this diy is lit because it involves dollar tree cheers And for those of you guys wondering what I did with the white drawers that used to be in my closet, it's now right here. I thought it would look awkward, but honestly, it's low-key like the perfect 
see how like there's a dent in the wall like not a dent but like whatever you call it like that's exactly where this like kind of ends so it's kind of like it's meant to be there so i don't mind that it's actually out here now because there was nothing here before except for a cat scratcher that now is going to be right there but anyways <laughs> um also what else oh yeah i made a diy so basically i had this jewelry holder um that's like a little hanger type of vibe but instead i wanted to hang all my belts on there so i went to dollar tree and i found these shower curtain rings and i went ahead and put them on there so it called on my belts and now instead of having my belts rolled up because sometimes that ruins them that makes them like wear faster you know i feel like they do um because then they like they're just like getting bent because they're like rolled up but anyways and then you can't even see them that well so i like that they're just like hanging now right next to my purses and also i have the gray little squares still and then i just put my little hamper in the corner and it's a vibe like in the corner of my closet i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to y'all very very soon um let me know what videos you guys want down below i have a lot of videos planned and i plan on really going in on them you know what i mean so if y'all think i went in on this video be sure to give it a thumbs up so i know to keep going um uh, also happy father's day to all the baby daddies, single moms, and all you boss ass bitches. Um, because Father's Day is today, the day I'm filming this. <laughs> so I know um, by the time I upload this, it'll be already over. But I'm just letting y'all know I love you and stay popping. But most importantly, do not forget to stay lit, stay up, and stay positive. Double dues. Until next time. <laughs>